Right. Fine. So we'll start with New Zealand today. So New Zealand is basically an island country in the southwestern Pacific Ocean. It consists of two main land masses. This is a very you know striking feature of New Zealand. It consists of two main land masses: the North Island and the South Island. All right, and more than seven hundred smaller islands. Covering a total area of two lakh sixty-eight thousand twenty-one kilometer squares, so that's huge, isn't it? Yes. So, what is the most striking feature here? It consists of two main land masses: the North Island and the South Island. All right. Now, New Zealand flag is the symbol of the real government and people of New Zealand. it basically consists of a blue color if you can see here so this royal blue denotes what it is derived from the ensign of the blue squadron of the royal navy of new zealand the stars of the southern cross emphasize this country's location in the south pacific ocean now the history of new zealand so the history of new zealand Uh, our Tiaroa dates back approximately seven hundred years. So the history of New Zealand is around seven hundred years old, to when it was discovered and settled by Polynesians, who developed a distinct Maori culture. So this name here, which you see here, this is the Maori name for New Zealand. What is it? Our Tiaroa. Oh, I'm so sorry. Our Tiaroa. Okay, I'm sorry. Yeah, so this is the Maori name for New Zealand. That means what? It was, you know, mainly kept by the Polynesians there, the people living there. All right. Like other Pacific cultures, Maori society was centered on kinship links and connection with the land. But unlike them, it was adapted to a cool, temperate environment rather than a warm, tropical one. Now, the first European explorer known to sight New Zealand was the Dutch navigator Abel Tasman on 13th December 1642. So this was the first day when you know he caught sight of New Zealand. You can say in 1643 he charted the west coast of the North Island. Remember North Island and South Island. So. In 1643, he charted the west coast of North Island. His expedition then sailed back to Batavia without setting foot on New Zealand soil. Wellington, this is the capital of New Zealand. So you remember this, right? What is the capital of New Zealand? Wellington. 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 That's good. Yes, Arika, you want to say something? Yes, ma'am. Wellington yes, is please. one of the most popular places to visit. Okay, fine. Thank you so much. That's I really awesome. love this when you all update with me. You know, update me with these facts. I really like that. Thank you so much. Anybody else or somebody else? Okay, Rohita. Yes, Rohita. Ma'am, New Zealand is like very costly to live in there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's true. That's true. Thank you to you too, Rohita. Okay, now the next thing is Auckland. So this Auckland here in New Zealand, this is a very you know interesting city, a very beautiful city. It is known as the city of sails. There are many you know water bodies here, and there are over fifty volcanoes present in Auckland itself. Sky Tower. If you see the tower here, it's the you know it's the tallest tower there, and it is one of the tallest man-made structures. of new zealand now hardeep okay yeah now zealand the language is also one of the most beautiful countries in the world yes yes completely agreed yes roheta okay the most commonly spoken language after english and maori which are the other commonly spoken languages so afrikaans french so if you see this you know scores here you can notice that french is the most commonly spoken one yes fine then afrikaans 
French, German, Hindi is the least common one. Okay. Then the New Zealand Sign Language, Samoan, Tagalog and Tongan. So these are the other languages other than English and Maori and French which are spoken. Yes, Pranjal. Ma'am, do you know that New Zealand sees the uh, sun sunrise at the first yes, in the whole that is true. Um, yes, this, they see the sunrise first. Yes, yes. I read it when I was, you know, your age. I read it that time. <laughs> but thanks for, you know, reminding me of it. Yeah, so, sorry. The culture of New Zealand is a Western culture which is influenced by the unique environment and the geographic isolation of the islands and the cultural input of the indigenous Maori people there and the various waves of migration which followed the British colonization of New Zealand. So there are many things combined in the New Zealand's culture. Fine, it's a Western culture, so which is influenced by what? The unique environment there, the geographic isolation, yeah, the island people there and the cultural input of the indigenous Maori people. We've already seen Maori people there. Yes. And the various waves of migration which were followed, you know, afterward the British colonization. So all these things are combined in the culture there. Now, the government of New Zealand. So the Prime Minister of New Zealand is a woman who is Jacinda Ardern. She's beautiful, isn't she? Yes, very young, very dynamic, kind of. very beautiful. Yes. Okay, the population of New Zealand is 5.12 million. And the currency of New Zealand is New Zealand dollar. And this is equal to how many Indian rupees? Um, uh, yes. So they call it as New Zealand dollar or only dollar? It's New Zealand dollar. Oh, so that they don't call it as rupee. Yes, yes. Yeah, right. So it equals 52.12 Indian national rupee. National sport there. This is the most famous sport in New Zealand and this is rugby union. Has anyone of you played rugby anytime? No, ma'am. No, ma'am. I have not played. Ma'am, I have okay. played in my school. Pranjal has played. And who else has played? I have not. Me too. I have not. Me too. Who? Such a young girl. Mm -hmm. Why would I play such game? Me too. Who? Me too. Me too. Tell me your name. <laughs> Rohita, ma'am. Rohita. Rohita has played. All right. Pranjal has played. No one else? Ma'am, I did not play. Okay. So it is basically a very aggressive game, I can say. I have played that in my school time. But yes, I really found it a very aggressive game. But it's fun, on the other hand. All right. Now the animals of New Zealand. Kiwi, Kia, Tuatara, Good Swallow, Falcon, New Zealand, Lesser, Short-Tailed Bat. That's a long name for a small animal. Yeah, New Zealand, Lesser, Short-Tailed Bat. Yes, Rohita. Um, Kiwi is the national animal. Yes, right. And it's a fruit and I, also. And I, and, and I see. And I, it's I a fruit see, also. It's a fruit I, also. And yes, I, very good. And I see. And I see, sir, quite a few marine animals, including New Zealand sea lion, hectares, dolphin, and fur seals. Yes, yes, you're right, Abir. Mom. Yes, Rohita. Mom, they also say that when I checked, like when I was searching for facts, they said that it's the national animal except of Yes, birds. yes, you're right. Yeah, yeah. Even I read that. You're right. So, which is Chevron's kink, Tui, Hector's dolphin, fallow deer, kakapo, fur seal, ah. Pacific gecko, and Albon skink. These are quite, uh, you know, you can say weird names, aren't they? A few of them, these kink and all. Mom, no, so? when it is yes? some national, national bird, it means the kiwi, yeah. right? Kiwi. Yeah, kiwi, kiwi, right. Animal? Yeah. Actually, this is written in the name of national animal only, uh, Arhan. Kiwi is written. Yeah, and the, and uh, of food, kiwi burger. The, Something. Burger, the, right. It has. What, what, what burger? 
kiwi uh, burger Lolita? but uh, it's uh, known as kiwi burger but it doesn't have kiwi in that they call it as kiwi burger okay okay has, do you all do any of you like kiwi the fruit i'm talking about ma'am i like yeah, i love kiwi i love kiwi well, i, I love kiwi who who loves kiwi who loves Arhan, kiwi ma'am i okay Arhan, i love all right all right all right great 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 okay so the national food there is no national food as such but these are the you know the most famous food of new zealand mom is the uh, maori hangi like maori hangi is like yeah actually different people have yeah. mentioned different things but officially they have not mentioned any national food as and such and this maori hangi is seafood and new zealanders love their seafood too they yes, love their that's true. that's true and the fruits also the dry or the fruits and you know especially kiwi is loved by people there kiwi fruit not the bird i'm talking about <laughs> the fruit yeah so tasty pie and pavlova two of the icons in australian and new zealand cuisine these are the most famous ones and the most loved ones there mom and do you know that clothes are very expensive to buy in new zealand like Oh really? I didn't know that. I knew that the you know staying there is very expensive. The accommodation there, everything is expensive the there. Oh god! Oh god! Okay, thank you, Rohita. I mean, the whole country is expensive. Yeah, you can say that. You're right, Abir. <laughs> Now the climate of New Zealand. New Zealand has a largely temperate climate, so that means a moderate type of climate. Moderate rainfall, moderate summers, moderate winters. You can say that. Well, the far north has subtropical weather during summers, and inland alpine areas of the South Island can be as cold as minus ten degree in winter. Most of the yes, minus ten. Who just read? Who just read? Let, let me tell you, minus ten yes. degrees only a penguin can survive. Yes, that's true, and the polar bears, of course. Plus in Antarctica, something like hundred and three degrees minus. Yeah, really. Something around a hundred it is in oh, the Antarctica. Oh God! Oh God! Oh God! Wow! So how oh, could so. they survive? It's more. It's a double than a deep freezer. Yeah, you're right. That's a good observation. Double than a deep freezer. You're right. We can't even can stand say, in front of the freezer, and right? You know, and what in Iceland they they keep the food to get warm in the freezer. <laughs> yeah, that's right. That's right. But yes, I heard that. But that is so so cold. And they they, they mom, uh, you know that cold. at houses they have heaters to heat. Yes, yes, yes. I know. Yes, Rohita, right. Hmm. So, uh, other than these areas, uh, most of the country lies. close to the coast coastal area so it means mild temperatures moderate rainfall and abundant sunshine too much of sunshine a lot of sunshine now let's explore about it more mom the fjord land yes bay of island at the best place that it is the best uh, place to meet in new zealand which which place rohita bay of islands Bay of Islands. Okay, fine. Thank you. Yes, Pranjal. Ma'am, do you know there is a town which has the longest name in the world on the east coast? Yeah. What is the name? Ma'am, it is very long. I cannot even read it. Oh God! Then let's forget it. <laughs> But I'll try to read it. Okay, I'll I'll surely try to read it. Yeah, oh, so these no. are the places here: Fiordland National Park and Milford Sound in the South Island. So remember, okay, North Island and the South Island. Remember this in New Zealand. Mm. Then Lake Taupo and Tongariro National Park in the North Island. Um, Queenstown is also kind of. Okay, which is this? Like. Oxon plants grows in glaciers. Uh, just a minute, Aran. Yes, uh, Rohita. Queenstown. What? What were you speaking um, about? Queenstown is also kind of uh, famous there. Okay, fine. Yes, Aran. Your turn. I was saying. I was saying the name of this. 
actually want right. to go this place. It's an amazing place. And yeah, you know what really? the best thing about New Zealand? Me yes. and my dad both want to go to New Zealand. Wow, awesome. And okay, you know so the this... one fact about there? And uh, yeah. some of the adventure activities have actually started from there. Some of the right. adventure activities. Which activities? I couldn't hear you. The adventure activities. Inventual. It adventure, 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 activities. adventurous activities. All right, all right. Fine. Which we yes, don't have mountains and all. Yes, which ones? Um, which we do on the mountains and go. All right. Okay. Both yes. Events. Yes. Yes. Okay. Yes. Yes. Yes, yes ma'am. Yes, Arika. Yes. I was saying that. Like, mm -hmm. I have one fact and one best place to visit when i searched i found one there is one place over there hot water lake means mm -hmm. i thought that it's a very when i saw that image i felt very good and that's a big fact for me yeah why there is the lake of hot water so what did you find so amazing about it yeah, it was very nice. Even I seen meditation pictures, something like that only are kept. Okay, wow, that's great. Yes. Yes, somebody else also raise your hand. Did someone uh, else also raise your Rohita, mom. Rohita. Yes, Rohita. Uh, Mama is said about the food, Maori hungry, right? Right. Uh, it's not the international uh, food it's they say that it's the traditional food traditional food okay fine thank you and you know there oh. is a hot water beach also the hot water beach you know wow you know you know i would love to go on a tour with you all really it's very interesting that's to interact with you all. writing it down what that's why i'm writing it down on a book okay okay fine Me too. now the next Okay, now the next one is Fox and Franz Joseph Glaciers in the South Island. Now let's come Air to the Air New Zealand. As always. Yes, as always. Air New Zealand. Air New Zealand. Air New Zealand. Yes, that's right. Air New Zealand Limited is the flag carrier airline of New Zealand. It is based in Auckland and this airline operates scheduled passenger flights to 20 domestic and 32 international destinations in 20 countries primarily around and within the pacific rim so air new zealand is the flag carrier airline of new zealand and will cost a lot of money it seems of course of course that's more right. than indian air india more than yeah and worldwide ranking if we see for air new zealand so the world's best airlines for 2020 have been named by airline ratings.com and this airline ratings.com this website is the world's only safety and product rating website and the airline of the year has been declared as air new zealand only Air New Zealand is one of the world's top three safest airlines for 2021. Isn't this interesting? Yes, Roheta. Yeah. Seems like it's seems like it's very safe, but yes, obviously it'll cost a lot of money. Of course, that's true. Yes, Roheta, obviously, I wanted to say something. If it's Mama. clean, then it will cost a lot of money for the maintenance plus the food. Yeah. That's right. Plus okay. the passengers. Yes, Rohita. Ma'am, New Zealand is also the second safest country in the world after Iceland. Yes, that's right. Iceland is the first. Yes, Iceland is the first and New Zealand is the second safest country. That's right. So, here we come oh. to the end of today's tour. Yes. How can I say, what do they say hello in... Um, like... Brand? In, no, no, in, no. Like, Maori? I, I forgot that uh, name. Maori? Maori? Huh, I no? think so. Okay. They call How it, is it said? Kia Ora. Kia Ora. 
Kia ora. Something. Okay. Okay. So Kia next ora. time we'll be wishing you all Kia ora. Okay. We'll be wishing each other Kia ora next time. Done. Okay. Okay, ma'am. All right. Okay. So over to Manbir, ma'am. Now. Wow. Thank you, Doctor Nishtha. This was a really wonderful session, and I hope our guests have really enjoyed the tour. So, how did you like today's tour to the New Zealand? I loved it. I love it. Okay. Seven stars. Excellent. <laughs> That's wow, one. Awesome Seven feedbacks. stars. Awesome feedbacks. Okay, what is this, Aran? Seven. Seven. seven what stars. seven? Seven stars out of. Ten out of ten, seven. All right, thank you. Yes, Manveer. Okay. I thought there would be a video also, but no. Okay. So that is why I but asked. Sir, I can search myself. Yeah. So, have you done with the homework? Homework? Yeah, I already tell it. Yeah. I already told it in the presentation. <laughs> Okay, okay. Not me. So, okay. So What's tomorrow, that? tomorrow we will be visiting Oman. Oman? I even heard about that country. Okay, so, so is there anyone who wants to give presentation, make presentation? Anyone? Ma'am, let me tell you something. Yes, Abhi. Mm, my father, brother actually lives in Oman. Okay. A brother lives in Oman. Not mine, my father's. Okay, okay, okay. Hey, ma'am. Yes, Alka. Can I make a presentation? Yeah, sure. You can make it. Okay, ma'am. Yeah. So we will have your presentation tomorrow, okay? Ma'am, I'm gonna make a presentation on every Monday. All right. Okay. So I'll on Friday I'll tell you the country for the Monday, and you can present it. Okay, ma'am. Okay, so I hope you all have enjoyed. So we'll see you tomorrow, and we'll visit Oman. Okay. Bye, okay, everyone. Have a good Bye, day. Bye, ma'am. Bye, ma'am. Have a nice Bye, day. Bye, everyone. Take ma care. Ma'am, come on, take care. Yes, Arika, do you want to say something? I just forgot that. Is there any task? Okay, so for you, you have to make presentation, right? Yes. Okay. Okay. Okay, so that is all. Okay, ma'am. Bye.